the Packard, a sign of class from an era long, long ago. Remember this 1930 Roadster? We'll get back to it shortly, as well as a little history of the Packard nameplate and this special place. But first, we want to tell you what's going on here at the Packard Proving Grounds on Sunday. It will be filled with classic vehicles like these Packards, but many others for the annual Cars Are Stars event. So this year, our feature is rear engine cars. We're calling it hoods in the rear. What's left at the Packard Proving Grounds today is only a fraction of what they used when they tested cars here. They also tested a number of World War II tanks. But let's take a look behind the scenes. Get our national register. We worked very hard for that. Black. This workroom is now converted into a gathering place, but other areas hold hidden treasures. Some are vehicular, others more unique. Wow. This is Miss America 10, built in the 30s with four 12-cylinder Packard engines. It was, uh, you know, a fixture in Detroit. It was the Harmsworth Cup was an international trophy that was won by an American. Now those older engines aren't as easy to start as today's engines, but when they do turn over, the payoff is great. For us, just a loop around the grounds. We're tooling around the Packard Proving Grounds in a 1930 Packard Roadster. You really do feel like you've been transformed in time. I mean, this was the ultimate luxury car for the era, and the sticker price, get this, approached $4,000. The Packard Proving Grounds is now used mostly for events, lots of weddings, and for weekend events, they're booked through next year. I'm Autobeat reporter Jeff Gilbert.